So here's my question. I want to declare and initialize variables to hold this list of information. So I'm going to grab this so I can remember what it says when I get over here. Let's just make a comment and paste these things so I can see them as I work. All right. Um, let me fix this indentation because it's going to drive me nuts if it's not indented. All right. So um, the first thing, your full name. So um, that's going to be text. So the type, data type is string. And then I need a variable name or identifier that makes sense. So full name would be good. Um, and theoretically, strings don't need to be initialized, but this question has asked me to initialize it. So if I don't set string equal to anything, it actually contains this. It's not garbage. It's just an empty string. But I'm going to go ahead and set this equal to my full name so that I have completed the question as asked. Okay. Um, the weight of a bag of rice could be a decimal, so that type should be double. Um, bag rice weight. I have no idea how much bags of rice weigh. Let's say it's 10.5 pounds. Sure, why not? OK. Um, the number of students at Wooten High School. Well, students are whole number, obviously. We don't have any half students running around. So that's going to be an integer. Let's call this Wooten students. And it is about 2,400, so I'm just going to put that as my initialization value. Um, incidentally, when you write the type and the name, that by itself is declaring. When you add an equals and a value, that is counting as initialization because you're initializing or giving it a starting value. Okay? Um, your first initial. Well, initial would be one letter. So theoretically, I can put that in a string, but a string is a lot of memory, um, and we don't need that for one letter. So I can instead go with char, which is for one character. Let's call this first initial. And my first initial is B. And char values get single quotation marks put around them. 